March Madness baseball style. This crowd is ready to go. This was supposed to be a 705 Central start. Instead, with the length of the earlier games, it's an 805 Central. So an extra hour of free gaming for these fans. And the first pitch is a strike from LeBaron Johnson Jr. First time they've really had a chance to match up against some powerhouse teams. It's sharply towards the hole, backhanded by Flores. His off balance throw not in time. Great try by the Texas shortstop, but Paxton Kling with an infield hit to start this game. And he goes after the high fastball. LeBaron Johnson Jr. strikes out Tommy White. Might get a challenge fastball right here. There goes the runner. The pitch is a high strike. The throw is on the money, but late. Kling steals second. He's four for four on the year in stolen bases. Now full count delivery to Neal, trying to hold up. He goes too far. They're going to have to make the play to first. Galvan throws to first for the putout. Johnson Jr. 3-2 pitch is a little bit low. Ball four. That'll be a walk. Put runners on first and second. Well, here's Josh Pearson. Now 1-2. Call third strike. Seth Buckminster said it caught the inside edge, and a long inning comes to a close. All third strike, dotted him up on the inside edge. Jared Thomas goes down looking. Luke Holman has a strikeout to start this game. One two pitch, hit the other way into left center towards the gap, and that is going to be down into the wall. Chasing it down is Bingham and Kling. Powell gets to second with a stand up double. We probably have at least 20,000 in the house. The attendance record was set a couple of years ago, just shy of 54,000 for three days. Swing and a miss, and Flores goes down on a breaking ball. Up top, ball four. That'll put runners on first and second. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Allen Brown off with a pitch and a swing and a miss. Galvan chase one off the plate. That'll do it for the Longhorns. 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss. LBJ has four strikeouts of the four outs tonight. And that'll be a walk. But that's what it does. If you miss in, you can set up that outside corner, kind of stand that right-handed hitter up a little bit more straight. That one's going to stay fair down the left field line and go all the way to the wall. Milam on the move to third. Porter Brown gets the ball back in quickly. Overshoots the cutoff man, but they had held the runner at that point. So no damage done, but a double by Braswell the third, putting runners on second and third with two out. Earned himself an opportunity to get a hanging slider out over the plate. Did a good job of keeping the hands back and extending through this pitch, raking it into that left field corner. Loves the skills of this guy Paxton Kling hits it sharply but right at the shortstop Flores and LeBaron Johnson jr. Gets out of damage Saturday schedule day two here at the Astros Foundation College Classic tomorrow We kick things off with Vanderbilt against Houston Vandy was a winner coming from behind against Louisiana today And a swing and a miss Holman with a very strong second inning gets through the six seven and eight hitters in order Sharply hit past the third baseman pal down the left field line. Travinsky heading to second. Aiden Travinsky, the DH, gets in there with a double. Got him. That's going to help. Swing and a miss and a pitch down and in. That is six strikeouts for LeBaron Johnson Jr. It's really important, and you look around and see this environment, really at either one of these two programs. Um, it's an interesting conversation to be had, too. I don't know if we have enough time for it, but this will help if it gets down. Lord. So a base hit for Powell going the other way. Hayden Powell two for two. Powell on first base off with a 3-2 pitch and a strikeout for Holman. Luke Holman gets his sixth strikeout of the game. One left on, still scoreless. Hits the ball hard and over the leaping head of Peyton Powell into the corner. Jones digging for second. Came in with a 767 slug percentage and doubles in his second at bat tonight. You got to regroup and do it again. Close, no call. That's ball four. Back with his coach Jay Johnson at LSU. Pitch gets by. Advancing to third, Jared Jones. Advancing to second, Stephen Milam.
3 0 the count. Base open, and that'll be a walk, a four pitch walk. One of the pitches thrown by LeBaron Johnson Jr., the next three by Tanner Witt. Ground ball towards third. In the left field, base hit, one run scores. Here comes Milam. The throw home by Brown is not in time. 2 0 LSU. Big swing here with the bases loaded, nobody out. Braswell feeling it, has been seeing the ball great today. Second hit, drives in two to get the Tigers on the board and start the scoring in this game. In the air, center field, playable. Tagging at second is Bingham. The catch is made by Gasparino. The throw will not be in time. Bingham moves over to third on the fly out by Paxton Kling for the first out of the fourth. In the air, looks like it's going to be in play. The second baseman O'Dowd, the first baseman Thomas, nobody can catch it. This one's popped into shallow right. This won't score the run. O'Dowd out, below in. And it'll be below who makes the play and nobody able to advance. So Tommy White flies out to shallow right for out number two. Fourth inning, one two pitch. And it's a call third strike. Dotted him up on the outside edge. Nice job by Tanner Witt pitching around further trouble. And still carries that perfect ERA. One two pitch, swing and a miss. Holman picking up a strikeout. Schuessler goes down. That's seven for Holman, a star athlete at the collegiate level. 2-2 pitch, call third strike. Luke Holman, four shutout innings, set eight strikeouts. Gets Palou looking, gave up a couple of runs. The two runs charged to the te Texas starter, and now a four-pitch walk. So Milan bats with two outs and a runner on, and swings and pops one up. Could be playable, shortstop, Flores with a long run, so does a third baseman, and Powell stays with it to make the catch for the final out. Swing and a miss. Luke Holman, highly impressive. Nine strikeouts. He has retired five in a row, the last three on strikeouts. Strong baseball ties. Strong, yeah. yeah. But Billy goes, excuse me, Will goes down on strikes. The son of Billy for the final out. And Luke Holman looks great. Ten strikeouts, five shutout innings. This ball hit pretty well towards the Crawford boxes. Porter Brown near the wall, and he makes the play right in front of the scoreboard and left. Paxton Kling gave it a ride to deep left, but played there for the final out. And Holman picks up his 11th strikeout of the night. Luke Holman dominating this Longhorn lineup. First out of the sixth inning. 85 pitches as he play here in the sixth. Little looper bidding for a three for three night. Peyton Powell has all three of the Longhorn hits. He's heading to second and he slides in with a double. Powell has gone opposite field successfully three times tonight. Struck out 12 and in five innings in that start. This ball down the right field line just foul. That would have been the first run for the Longhorns, but it was foul. It'd be a good shot at it right here. That ball, that fastball got deep, but just slicing into foul territory. It looks like if we were playing in the 80s, maybe. Swing and a miss. Dropped the slider on the outside edge and broke it off the edge. Got him. Atkenhausen comes in out of the bullpen to strike out Porter Brown to end the sixth inning. He has always been real thin. 2-1 pitch, hit high, hit deep, hit a ton to left center. All the way back at the wall, up by the home run pump. Tommy Tanks hits one by the home run pump at Minute Maid Park, and LSU leads 3-0. That was crushed. That ball was elevated and up in the air a while, and Tommy Tanks is pumped. These LSU fans are on their feet. He's got to make his way through the mosh pit of teammates as he gets a hanging slider and absolutely unloads. 3-1 count to Dravinsky. Longhorns have their bullpen going as this is the sixth batter that Easton Tumas has faced. That one gets by Schusler. Didn't look like it was a bad pitch, just looked like he may have been crossed up in a 3-1 count. Round ball, knocked down. Thomas stays with it, but it's too late. 
Couldn't find it initially, and that cost him the out. That ball crushed deep to right field. Forget about it. Three run shot off the bat of Jared Jones. And just like that, it doubles the LSU lead to six to nothing. The Thunder has showed up this evening for the LSU Tigers, and they are pumped. Home run number five on the season for Jones. RBIs 12, 13, and 14. Both team leads. That ball was absolutely destroyed going the other way as Jones stands up on it. Joe Burrow giving it his best effort. Couldn't come up with it. Slowly hit. It's going to be a tough play. Powell charges, gloves, throws off balance, and that'll be probably ruled an infield hit for Bingham. This ball in the center field, playable. Gasparino broke back. Now he has to come in. Instead, it's the right fielder who had a fine jump on it, Max Ballou. Place of Rylan Galvan. Galvan. This ball hit well. Yeah. Deep to left field. The Longhorns are on the board. Kimball Schusler hits his first home run of the season and gives the Longhorn fans something to cheer about. Six to one game on a home run off the scoreboard, off the Wall there beyond the Crawford boxes and left. That was well struck. Yeah, he tried to put a hole in the Landry signage out there in left field above the Crawford boxes. That was an absolute laser over the Crawford boxes off the bat of Schusler. Did a good job getting on those legs. We talked about the UT catchers coming into this game, both hitting 500. Swing and a miss. Balu goes down on strikes. A summer league in the Appy League pitching for Bluefield. Swing and a miss. That's three strikeouts of the four batters. Ackenhaus in his face. You got, this is my spot, boys. You got Hayden Travinsky and you've got Alex Malazzo. There's a nice inning for Ackenhaus. And yes, he gave up the home run, but he strikes out the next three. And excuse me, two doubles and three home runs. And he's bidding for another extra base hit on a 3-1 pitch and bounces one into the corner. He has seven hits on the year, six of them for extra bases. That's why he's slugging close to 900 coming into this one, his first hit of the night. One missing in, four-pitch walk. That one's going to skip away from Schusler. That'll advance each runner 90 feet. Two-way player, and there is a ground ball to the left side. Glove there by the third baseman, Powell. And Peyton Powell makes another play at third. Swing and a miss. Gasparino goes down for the third time tonight. It looked like it was on the plate. That was much better. Tough night for Thomas as the sophomore takes a called third strike. Now facing the lefty Ackenhaus and lefty on lefty. It's the ball the other way. The shortstop Braswell off balance throw on Great the money. Play. Really nice play by Braswell the third. Texas Longhorns watching that ball sail into the right field seats for a three run bomb and this one's drilled too. Jared Jones gets into one all the way back and off the warning track and into the bullpen for an automatic double. Jones with eight total bases tonight it appears with nobody warming up. Milam grounds one to the right side. Freshman. D. Kennedy on the ground to third. They're going to come home with this play. Hung up between third and home is Jared Jones. He is tagged out by Schusler. He's succeeding in his final couple years. Yeah, Coach Pierce had really good things to say about him. Obviously, the bat to ball skills create their own story. But there are some really good stories out there. After a Braswell walk, Paxton Kling grounds one to shortstop. One two pitch is a line drive fair ball down the left field line Jalen Flores has extra bases as a Longhorn shortstop in the second base with a leadoff double here in the ninth. A hit into some hard luck today hit the ball hard. Oh and then he finds it right there beautiful. It all evens out. It's amazing but I was just going to say he said he's a very heady cerebral type guy and sometimes you can think yourself into slumps. All third strike. That is 19 strikeouts for LSU pitching tonight. 
This one popped high in the air. That will not score the run. Steven Milan, the second baseman, calls everybody off, puts it away for out number two. This ball drilled to center field, deep. Back goes Kling. He's near the wall. He will leap, and he'll miss handle the ball as he crashes into the wall. A great attempt by Kling as he crashed into the wall, had it momentarily, but that's a two-run double for Borba, and it's a 6-3 to three game. An incredible attempt by Kling and almost ended the game in spectacular fashion. All third strike, LSU wins it 6-3. to three. Uyoa picks up the final out, getting a strikeout. Why not? They struck out 20 batters tonight, 12 by Holman, 6 by Ackenhausen, 2 by Uyoa.